Hey everyone, it's Selena here at Amore Fabrics. I just got in a giant shipment of Cantha quilts again. Um, if you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Selena. Um, I'm going to show you guys today uh, today's new stock. Well, what I figured, because last time I showed you guys the last uh, Cantha quilt stock, uh, this is, like I said, I get 100 every two weeks, Cantha quilts. And um, last time I showed you guys how I un bind them and all that stuff kind of thing but today what I thought I would do is um, take the first 25 and then show them to you guys and then number them so I'll show you the first one and say that's number quilt number one number two number three because last time um, so many people were like I want this one can you find this one and all that and um, I want to make sure if you did want a quilt um, that you got the one that you wanted right so bear with me. I'm going to do this one handily. I'm not using any props or any type of like cool tools and stuff to make this uh, video good. <laughs> but um, so let me go ahead and open up this first one. I'll pick the first 25. And like I said, I'm going to get some safety pins and number quilt one, quilt two, quilt three. I'm not going to go um, over opening up each one. I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna number them. And then in the shop down below is the direct link to the listing of these quilts. Um, and I'll have the number of each quilt on there and a picture of the front of each quilt. Um, if you do wanna see the inside, um, make sure you message me first um, and then I can try to open one up for you and send you pictures. Uh, but it's first come first serve. It's usually they sell out pretty fast. Um, so I could do my best. Last time was kind of hard to keep up and some felt like they missed out. I tried keeping up, so I apologize for those who feel like you've missed out on a certain quilt. But here I got a hundred more and I'm going to, like I said, I'm gonna open up the first pack here. I'm gonna count the first 25 and I'm gonna show them to you guys here. So give me a minute and press pause and let's see what we can do here. I could do this, right? Hang on one second. Okay guys, here is quilt number one. Quilt number one, looks like we got yellows, reds on it. And if I open up, looks like we do have some green. Um, I'll be putting this out on the clothesline to air out today. I do not wash them for those who know, but I do send instructions. Look at here is this beautiful pink paisley on the inside of this. So there is quilt one and it even has this really cool patch right here. All right guys, let me go to quilt two. Okay, here is quilt number two. It looks like we have greens. And if I flip open a side here and there. Inside we have some reds. I do have some green. People like some green. Um, a lot of people I'm surprised. I do like a lot of green color. Green's my favorite color, but I'm, I would think people want more reds. But um, probably the most popular is the purples, pinks, blues, and greens. So there is number quilt number two. It is on the green side. Let's go to the next one. Okay, here's quilt number three. Sorry guys if the camera is kind of crazy jiggly wiggly. I am sorry. I'm doing the best I can. So it looks like we got this beautiful blue. Um, and then we got this beautiful, this is more of like a pinkish red color. Um, we got that pattern in there. I'm trying to see if I see anything else. But it is beautiful, beautiful. A lot of blue in this one. Again, I'll, like I said, the first 25, I'll even put them on the clothesline to air out. It's a beautiful day out there today. Just beautiful. All right, guys, let me go ahead and go to quilt number four. Okay, here is quilt number four. It is very colorful. It's got a lot of yellows, blues, a lot of beautiful designs in there. Um, beautiful patterns throughout. Ooh, beautiful pink on the inside. So this is quilt one, two, three. This is quilt number four. Number four, guys. Number four has got the yellow. Here is quilt number five. We got some beautiful purples and pinks and this beautiful design going on here. Um, as you can see, we got more of the beautiful purple pattern throughout. I'm trying to see if I can see the inside of this guy. Uh, looks like we have like a blue, I think, if I keep moving this. There you guys go. There you have it, let's go to the next one. Okay, quilt six here. It's got beautiful purples. You guys can see a lot of purple for the purple lovers. Inside here, we got this colors. Uh, again, I haven't opened up any of these to see if there's any staining or anything, but at least um, I will open them up if you have questions um, before you purchase and I'll let you know 
um, if I see anything. So, all right, guys, go on to the next one. All right, quilt number seven. Looks like we got this beautiful backdrops of green, purple flowers, pink flowers. Very beautiful. Looks like we have green on the inside. Let's see if I have other more. Oh, look at this pattern. Oh, this is a pretty, pretty one, guys. All right, on to the next one for you guys. All right, quilt number eight, beautiful blue, rosy color flowers. Lucky number eight for those who gets this one. It's absolutely beautiful blues. And the inside looks like this. Looks like the whole other side is this beautiful blue pattern. All right, let's go to the next one. Okay, here is number nine. It is a very interesting one. Looks like we got, um, I'm not sure if they're donkeys or horses or what, but there's so many patterns in this one. And it's got this beautiful rich purple on the inside. Show you, oh my, there's a lot of beautifulness in this guy. You can see the inside, you got purples, pinks, and then you have this really cool pattern. Yeah, I think they're donkeys, I'm not sure. But then you have this beautiful pinkish color, really pretty. All right guys, on to the next one. All right, here is quilt 10. We got pretty much a lot of colors. We got, we got the blues, we got the greens, the reds, it has paisleys in there. And it's a bit of everything, really. Really pretty though. Oh, look at that beautiful red inside there too. All right guys, on to the next one. Okay, here is quilt number 11. At least that's what I counted in my pile. But if you see the listing, you'll see that picture. It'd be one listing so you guys know. And it should have under each, each uh, number would be a picture of the quilt on it. All right, guys, on to the next one. Here is this beautiful color. I don't know if the camera is showing it, but it is purple. It's not pink. Um, it's beautiful. We're on number 12. Again, go to listing, you'll see the picture of this. So if you remember this, this is what's gonna be on the listing. I'm hoping I got my numbers right. <laughs> this is number 12. I'm, I'm more than positive this is number 12. So I can do a recount here in a second. There's that one. Let me go ahead and see it, number 13. Ooh, okay, number 13, beautiful greens. I've been trying to pull colors so you guys can get a variety of colors. Beautiful green. All right, let's go to the next one. Okay, here is 14. Beautiful, I made sure I found some red this time. Some reds, greens, I could totally see this for Christmas. It's got beautiful flowers on the inside, but it looks like mostly you got this beautiful pattern here. Just absolutely gorgeous. All right, on to the next one. Okay, here is number 15. Looks like a lot of flowers, a lot of pink flowers. Going through here, this one opened up so I can kind of see it a little bit more. Then you got these kind of flowers. Yeah, lots of flowers, different kinds of flowers. Ooh, look at that. That is beautiful. All right, on to the next one. All right, here is number 16, and this is a green and a beige. For those who love green, green and beige. I'm trying to see what's on the inside. Looks like, oh, that's pretty. This is totally a guy quilt, I would say. Look at this inside. I know flowers though, but still it's green and orange on the inside and green and beige on the other side. Not bad, on to the next one. Okay, number 17. Hope I'm not making you guys too dizzy. Apologize if I am. Here we go, we got blues, orange, greens, yellows. It is beautiful. First come, first serve. Otherwise, they're going to be cut up, guys, for their um, packs that go in the shop. Let's go on to the next one. All right, here's number 18. I thought I'd add in some orange. Why not? I know orange usually doesn't go as fast. Maybe because people don't see it and um, haven't tried it yet. I mean, orange is a beautiful color as well. But this is for my orange people. And the inside has this beautiful pinks and greens. Again, just message me if you want to see it full front and back. I have no problems with that. All right, here is number 19. We got some pinks and looks like some greens. Absolutely pretty. Show it kind of a little bit slower. And inside we got this beautiful red. Reds and greens. 
golds. Absolutely beautiful. On to the next one. Okay, here is number 20. We got five more to go. I don't know if you can see this, but I think it's absolutely gorgeous. These beautiful paisleys, Christmassy colors. We got the reds and the yellows. Just really pretty. You can look on the inside a little bit more. Ooh, we got a beautiful blue in there. I wonder if I could hurry up here to see. Um, <laughs> without destroying this quilt. Oh, here it is. All right, look here. You got the beautiful blue pattern on the other side. Looks like a little flower too. I love Cantha. All right, on to the next one. Okay, here's 21. It looks like more auburn colors. I thought I've never seen one in auburn colors before, so this is a new to me. We got the greens, oh, a little light orange. I wouldn't say pretty dark. It's just pretty. I think definitely great for fall time. Um, and then in the inside, we do have some beautiful blue on the other side. I don't know if you call that the inside or if you, whatever side you want it to be, I guess. That's the cool thing about Cantha. All right, let's go to 22. 22, I have it right here ready for you. Look at this beauty. Here's 22. And she's got these beautiful flowers. And on the other side, I don't know, it looks like it's pretty much the same thing. That's 22. All right, 23, I got some more flowers for you guys. You guys know camp and flowers. Sometimes it's hard to find it. So I picked out what flowers I could. Here's 23. And it looks like we got yellows, pinks, and maybe purple. Hang on a second here. Oh, wow. And no that. Look at that green. So this is quilt number 23. Look at the inside of that. Beautiful quilt number 23. Here's quilt number 24. And I found, wait till you see quilt number 25, butterflies. I've never seen a Cantha quilt with butterflies. It's a first. So this is quilt number 24. It's got this beautiful greens on the inside. I think those are donkeys. I'm not sure, guys. Oh, look at, and more. More of those donkey guys. Camels, donkeys, horses, I'm not sure. But it's absolutely pretty and totally bohemian. Loving it. And quilt number 25. Look at here. Butterflies. I've never seen a Cantha with butterflies. <laughs> it's a first. What a great way to put quilt number 25. Butterflies. Oh, cool. It's got some beautiful purples in there and greens. Look at that. Gorgeous. All right, guys. Quilt number 25. You guys have a great one. We got the stack here going. Here's the 25 quilts. Down below is the direct link to the quilts and a pick the number that you want in the listing. If you have any questions, just message me. You guys have a great day. I am off to get some more quilts ready for the next batch. Bye.